Hi gang, I'm Mac Newton, and we're here again in my gym. Hot as usual. Since the last time I saw you in the gym, getting the weather, getting together a seven minute workout, I've seen lots of you guys right here, and I've heard from you from all over the world. Those of you who are using the seven minute workout as part of your everyday workout, even instructors that are using it as part of their routine, and I am so honored that you would do so. So get the most out of it, the most you can to set up in a workout. Soon we're going to update that a little bit. In fact, today I'm going to give you the perfect accompaniment to the seven minute workout. And I mean the four point groin stretch. This is the total lower body stretch. In fact, it's even good for your shoulders and your torso. It's kind of a total body stretch. We can do it in two minutes. All right, four point groin stretch that I use with the Oakland A's and the Dallas Cowboys and countless other, countless other professional athletes all over the world. But we're going to give it to you guys for free. How much is it going to cost? Nada. How much are you going to charge you for it? Zilch. Absolutely nothing. The double zero. You're going to get this as my gift to you guys, you know, for honoring me and all the nice things you say and and sending me so much useful information. I feel an obligation to give something back to you. And this is the perfect thing. You can use it before you go running. You can use it before you play tennis. You can use it before your martial arts class. You can use it before you play basketball. Before you go out and throw the baseball around. Whatever you're going to do, four-point groin stretch is your perfect pre-stretch and after-stretch. And if you're trying to figure out which which, which one's better? Should you stretch more afterwards or before? A short stretch before, a longer stretch after. But the four-point groin stretch is perfect for both of those situations, before and after. And like I said before, the four-point groin stretch, two minutes. How long? I said two minutes. Yes, two minutes. Two minutes. That's all it's going to take. Okay, we're going to get started right now. Lisa is going to help me so I can talk you through it and point out the very important areas that you need to pay attention to. All right? You will recognize Lisa because she was, is, is all over the internet in our internet, internet workouts. Okay? So you guys hang on right there. Let me get behind the camera. Bye. And we'll take it over. All right, Lisa, let's go to work now. Okay? All right. What you're going to do is get down, okay, on, on, on hands and knees, okay, just like, we'll start just like this. Now, bring up your right leg, okay? Bring up the right leg. Now, see, what I want you to do, okay, is I want you to put your feet about shoulder width, like Lisa's doing right now. About shoulder width. That's our start, okay? That's perfect. Now, all right, lift your back knee off the floor. Lift the back knee up. Put both hands on the floor. Lift your back knee up. Good, that's perfect. Now I want you to walk your right foot out in front of you until you've got a nice 45, so hold it right there Lisa, about a 45 degree angle on your front leg. Notice the back knee is only about two to three inches off the floor. That's your number one position. Number one of the fork out groin stretch. Perfect. Let your chest press down a little bit on your thigh. You're doing beautiful. Now to get a little extra stretch, keep your knee up, lower the hip a little bit, but don't let the knee touch. Nice. Perfect. Beautiful. I love that. Now, as I pan around to the other side, I want you to let your hip rotate toward the floor. Your left hip rotate. Just, ooh, get a little extra stretch on that left side. That's beautiful. I like that. This is number one. To get to number two, lower your back knee to the floor. Put your foot down flat in the back. Take your right hand from the inside and put it underneath your knee and stretch it all the way up where your fingertips are even with your toes on both hands. Very nice. Good. Down on your forearm. Notice how Lisa is doing it properly by not leaning to the left or right, but staying completely straight. Good. Make sure you're pushing your big toe firmly down to the floor. Nice. You know what? On each position, you want to hold that for about, oh, 10 to 12 counts, okay? That's a nice, beautiful representation of the number two on the four-point groin stretch. All right, number three, come out from underneath the stretch. Good. Shoulders high. Now shorten your stance up about, oh, eight, seven, eight to 10 inches. That's perfect, Lisa. Perfect. Shoulders up now, okay? Bend your back knee and reach back with your, with your uh, right hand and grab your back foot. 
Nice. That's good. Now, bring your left heel to the center of your left butt cheek. Now, bend your front knee. Lean forward again. Good. Beautifully done. Nice. This is position number three. Good. Keep the head up. Nicely done, Lisa. Very nice. Very nice. And keep breathing into the nose, out to the mouth. Let it down. Let the foot down. Good. Shoulders high. Both hands on your buttocks. Good. Push it. Bend your front knee. Lean your head and shoulders back. Lean your head and shoulders back. Very good. Very good. Lay back. Push the hips forward a little bit more. Good. Push that big toe down to the floor. Now lean your right knee to the outside. Push. Very nice. And come off the stretch. There you have the four-point groin stretch. Now we're going to do it on rhythm, okay? Turn around, face the other direction now, Lisa. Turn around. Just there we go. Turn around. Keep going. Turn all the way around. Good. Not quite so far. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, left leg up. Number one position. Back knee off the floor. Number one position. Both hands flat. Beautiful. We'll hold this about 10 counts. Good. Notice the back knee about three inches off the floor. 45 degree angle on your front leg. Both hands flat, chest on your thigh. Number two, just lower the knee straight down. Flatten out your back foot. And now take your left hand underneath your knee from the inside. Even dip your shoulder underneath there a little bit. Both hands, even with the toes. Keeping your body straight, not leaning left or right. Lower the hips down. Beautiful stretch. Lisa, can you feel that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In the quads, in the hips. Thighs, hamstrings, beautifully done. Number three, shorten up eight to ten inches, maybe a little bit more. Good. Shoulders high. Reach back now with your left hand. Grab your back foot. Bring the heel to your rump. Remember, get the, the, your heel to the center of your butt cheek. In this case, the left heel, the right, uh, right heel in the center of the right butt cheek. Okay, bend your front knee. Lower your hip down, shoulders high, good, beautifully done, keep breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let it down, shoulders high, both hands on your butt cheeks, point your fingers to the floor, bend your front knee, perfect, lean your head and shoulders back, beautiful positioning, keep breathing, again another 8 to 10 counts. Very nicely done, Lisa. Beautiful stretch. And come off of that. Good. Now, Lisa, where do you feel that mostly, huh? How do you feel with that? I feel great. I feel loose. I feel ready to move around. Whatever you want to do. Yes. Okay. All righty. Good. Uh, you feel uh, balanced on both legs? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Perfect stretch. Perfect stretch for you to get yourself ready. And... Uh, 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 like I said before, this is the perfect adjunct to your running program, your tennis playing, your, your martial arts program, whatever you want to do. The four-point groin stretch, one, two, three, four. Once you've really got that, I do have a five-point groin stretch. That one other little addition, especially for you basketball and baseball players, that makes a tremendous difference. But first, I want you to get good at this one, okay? Let me know what you think of it. All right, let me know. Send me some emails. Log on. Make comments on the sites. Keep your comments coming. I love them all. All right? Thank you very much. I'm Mac Newton. This is my gym game. We'll see you soon. Peace. I'm out.